Hello everybody, my name is Michael from Polygon Island, and today I'm going to be showing you how to import OpenVDB files, or just volume files in Blender. Uh, so, basically, uh, this can't be animated, it's just kind of a representation of these objects, so if you're making like a still scene, or um, just a render that's not going to be animated, uh, then this is really good because you don't have to um, use like images as planes, you still can, this is going to use a lot more... Um, it's going to be a lot more resource intensive, it's going to be a lot more hardware intensive since it's an actual volume file, but if you're trying to get a more realistic representation that's not just a bunch of uh, PNG images as planes, then this is a really good opportunity, uh, well not opportunity, it's a really good resource to use. Um, also, if you're just trying to render out um, just a render of some smoke or something, then this can be really useful. So how do we do this? So uh, the first thing uh, that we have to do is we have to go to the website, uh, openvdb.org slash download. Um, and this, we basically just have a ton of VDB files right here. Um, you can see there's like uh, different like 3D models. There's explosions, fire, smoke, um, a bunny cloud type thing, waterfall points, boat points, stuff like that. Um, this also works, um, this doesn't have to just be from this website, um, it can be from anything, like if you export a, um, simulation from something like Houdini or something, you can import that in Blender, it's basically the same thing, all you have to do is just have the VDB files. So these are just samples, um, but, uh, you can use a lot of these, um, you can pretty much just search up VDB files, and they should work fine in Blender. Some of them might not work depending on what type they are, but for the most part, some of them would work. So the one I'm going to use today is smoke1.vdb. Um, that's the one I just had in the scene. So basically, all you have to do is just click on this, and it'll start downloading in a zip file. Um, basically, just click this, open it, and um, you can just extract it to anywhere, really. I'm going to extract it to my documents folder. And then once we have that, we can go back into Blender, and then you can just hit Shift A, and down here on this little volume uh, tab right here, you can see Import Open VDB. So if we click this and we go to wherever you saved it at, uh, we can go. We can see that we have our Smoke.VDB right here, and if we click Import Open VDB Volume, we can see that it imports this Smoke right here. So um, I'm not sure if it works in EV. Let me see. Uh, I do not think it does. So uh, right now this is only working in cycles, um, which uh, I think I'm not sure if you have to mess with settings in EV for this to work. I just know right now it's only working in cycles. But yeah, you can see that we have our smoke right here and it is a volume object. So we are getting that lighting scatter that volume has. Um, so this is a like it's a it's a volume. It's like a realistic smoke volume. Um uh, so yeah, we can have this. Um, let me see if I can download another one that works. Um, let me see this bunny cloud one. I'm not sure if this one will work, but we're going to try it anyway. I'm just going to download this, uh, open it, um, and then just extract this to my desktop. Just extract that real quick, and then we're going to do the exact same thing. Shift A, volume, import, open VDB, and then bunny cloud. And it might work. Oh, it does work. Look at that. We have a bunny now. <laughs> that's that's funny. Uh, that's that's cute. Uh, but yeah, if we go into rendered, we can see um, once it renders out, we can see that we have the exact same thing. Um, this one, you can see it's less dense in some parts and more dense in other parts. But it's still, it's a bunny cloud. It's volume. It's, um, it's pretty nice. Uh, so... Yeah, that's that's pretty much that. Um, this is tanking my computer right now, so I'm going to go ahead and go out of rendered view for that. But yeah, uh, most of these will work. Um, I did try this fire.vdb, and it didn't work. So I'm not sure uh, I'm not sure exactly why some of them don't work, but that's, that's beyond me. If you know why some of them won't work and some of them don't work, then uh, <laughs> I don't. So... Um, but yeah, thanks guys so much for watching. This is just a very simple tutorial on how to get like explosions and like smoke effects and like water simulations um, and volumes and stuff really easily without rendering out a volume simulation which can take hours to days. I um, mean, um, it's a different way than rather than using just PNG files because you actually get the actual volumetric effect there. Um, so yeah, thanks guys so much for watching. My name is Michael from Polygon Island and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.